Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Snowtopia where in the previous episode we spent a lot of time researching but I think it's time spent in the right place. We then went up and built another little lift up to this peak here which then allowed us to have another three slopes. A narrow slope uh, which is rated as very difficult, a normal slope rated as that's technically perceived as only average and then we have another average one here. Um, Curiously, I would say that is actually signposting as green, but yeah, maybe I'll keep it as what it recommends. Either way, overall progress is good. We do need to keep an eye on our safety rating, but we'll just keep coming back to that because over here, as you can see, we have started some new construction. We have a two-person fixed grip surface tour and the 16-person gondola to then allow us obviously to build some more slopes. So that's what we will be doing. Um... I do want to probably check out, uh, well, keep an eye on reputation. It seems to be the walking liabilities has got a bit of an issue uh, with their satisfaction, but everybody else seems to be okay. The uh, sports club kid, kids really like it. They've got 80% on their satisfaction there. In terms of research, pretty much everything has been researched out. Actually, I lie. There's a lot of things that I haven't yet got, but uh, we're just going to keep an eye on this and just research what we can uh, when we can so not too bad at all we got another volunteer which I can assign I think it was down here because do we have attendance oh, attendance is actually alright but I think I just need to keep increasing the amount of people working there um, although no there's not a queue no there's not a queue so we'll turn on synchronized boarding obviously requires maintenance but that's alright um, that's now working I guess I could do the same thing on all of these. Emergency brake increase speed and synchronized boarding. Emergency brake increase the speed. But I think we need more. If I'm going to do that, we need more maintenance buildings. So I'm going to build a mechanics workshop and I'll place it at the. probably at the back here. And then that'll obviously repair. Because we have calls for repair and maintenance, you see. It's not turned off, it's just in, requ you know, um, in need of maintenance. So, yeah. We have just hovering around sort of 40 people in need of assistance so I'm gonna keep an eye on that I'm gonna I'm gonna check where that is it's actually heading down now it's just under 30 so that's good let's take a while to build this although I'm guessing the people who are building are actually over here now <laughs> anyway there's that set up I could uh, turn on this work schedule I'm just gonna. I think you just keep both people assigned to that. Um, let's have a quick look at our safety. Safety is again over here. Seems to be a bit of an issue, but you know what? Thirty people in the snow and that we're being over a thousand people. Is that hitting average? It's it's possible. It's possible. But anyway, we will leave that bit there. Let's go ahead and check out this area. So I'm gonna assign. People to this snow groomer. Uh, people have already been assigned to that. And let's go ahead and turn on all of this. This is our two person fixed grip surface tour. Let's see if I can get a couple of slopes in here. It'll be naturally a difficult one. Yeah, it's going to be difficult regardless of what I do. Um, although we could probably, if we go for say normal, we can probably go, if I spin it round, go for this one. It'll be like blue and then so I'll wind it round now we're gonna we'll have that other problem again it's because it's where it because it's the height the height of it you see um, but I'm just putting some slopes in for now it's a very basic one sort of come up and around but I guess I'm going for a red slope might as well so I'll build here red there red there and then, oh, it becomes blue. So it's not actually very dangerous at all. It seems to be the building up and around can be problematic. If I can just get that so it's rated as blue. Yeah, we can rate it as blue and then go down to rating as green. Oh, perfect. There we go. So the start is a little bit difficult, but that one not so much. Brilliant. Turn all those on, and... Oh, yeah, people are swarming over here to use this. <laughs> right, fine. Now that I know that that's uh, working, I'm going to place a large shelter in here. And a soup bar on the other side. Like so. 
Wow. Loads of people coming over here to look to use that. They really like that one. And this is... Working okay. Let's assign people to that. Or volunteers. Probably just one for now. And then I'll assign the large, some from the large shelter. How many people are streaming in here? <laughs> There's so many people streaming over. Okay, fine. So that's now in. Let us work on this area. So I want this as a large slope. And this is going to be rated as best I can, as much as I can, as green. So I guess this, this bit's all blue, but... Obviously we'll have some bits like that. Start back here. Can I make it... If I come that way and around... Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. That's exactly what I was after. Something like that. I'm going to take it quite wide. Oh, there's a blue section there. I, I want as much as possible, as I said, just no blue sections at all. This is all going to be rated as green. Oh, no. Can I self come back on ourselves this way? It's a possibility. And then... I just want to soft snake round. Perfect. Because the next one, there will be another one I'm going to put in. As normal difficulty. As normal uh, size. This is going to be primarily green and blue. Although... Looks to be a lot of green actually there, doesn't it? If I just connect it up to there like that. Mm, doesn't really seem much of a point. What about from this side? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a bit extreme, that one. Oh, we'll put it in. Why not? And we'll turn on people working up here. Once again, up here we'll have to have a patrol lodge. Oh, hang on. Speaking of patrol lodges. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll have one in this corner, and we'll have one in this area, and let's get that done. Assign people to this. So, one person to that. I can turn on work schedule. Uh, no volunteers? No, we are getting more volunteers. We reduce the people working there and assign them to that one. Okay, they're now working. It says there's loads of accidents around there, but that's not the case, surely. Well, maybe it is. Uh, to be fair, I don't have a ski patrol lodge, so I should probably get one. There's it there. It seems to be this work schedule. Seems to be alright. Reduces the autonomy. Um, oh, over 100 skiers are in trouble. I'm guessing that's because of all of the addition of this. And why is it taking so long to build that one? Um, yeah, it seems to be fairly safe over here. It's just this area. So let's just keep adding in more security stuff. I'll ski patrol lodges. So I want one here. Let's just build them all across. Like that. Every so often we'll just place one. Ski patrol lodge. And then... Strange that that there is. Got some. Uh, we have research free slots. Let's go for... Anti-freeze system. And... Portable scanners. Yeah, why not? Turn all the stuff on as much as I can. Three slopes away in a snow groomer. I mean, I do have a snow groomer. Oh, is that broken? That's broke. Why? Builders Lodge snow groomer. I don't have maintenance over here. That's why. No maintenance at all. Uh, mechanics workshop. That's what I forgot to build. Whoops. Right, let's build this. And assign people to that. That is well and truly broke. 
Um, you will assign two people to that. Oh, that's now getting fixed. All right. Yeah, things have gone really... <laughs> they've gone south really quickly, haven't they, with this one? I think I've just expanded too quickly. Um, I'm going to turn off both of these. I'm turning off both because, quite frankly, I need to stop people going on these slopes. And up until I can safely staff them. I think that's the main takeaway here. It's been a taken away. There's a lot of people around here need to be taken away. Or rather taken back out of the snow. There we go. Yeah. It was just aggressive expansion. Far too aggressive. Um, ski patrol lodge in there. I'll just put it at the end of this one so as they come down they can slam into that. <laughs> and just be chilling out themselves. Oh look at all these people just hanging around. Uh, with not much going on. <laughs> Satisfaction is really low because that bold ventures and stuff. It's all it's all really bad because their energy will be low because the ones that are faced down in the snow for a quite a quite a time, they uh, yeah they will be getting cold and such. So, but if we just continue on like this, can I, I can turn the onboard scanner on now. Can I? Oh, not for those. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people being rescued now. This is good. Uh, let's build some of these other stands and such. But I think also... Where else do we need to assign people? Assign people to one of these. Work schedules, yeah. People are being rescued. So this is fairly safe. Uh, there's just this corner here that we've got a bit of an issue with. There's no point in overdoing it, because naturally what will happen is... Oh, that's turned off. This will all go safe, yet over here... Look at the state of that. That's probably because... The... All the security people here, the, the Ski Patrol Lodge staffs, uh, they'll come over here to help people, so obviously this place has then been not uh, not looked after. Yeah, you can see it's all move. It's moving in progress. Moving in progress. It's all that moving in progress stuff. I mean, I'm going to turn on work schedules for for these. Let's see if that does anything. Obviously, it's going to free up a lot of people. And hopefully, that will fix the issue. Mm, still on 130 odd. Look at that. So many people. And yet we've got that there. It's all movement in progress. I'm going to put another ski patrol lodge in there. Get that turned on. Oh, and now I have onboard scanner. That now increases work speed. Well, yeah. Work speed, definitely. Reduces autonomy, but... Work speed... It's not work speed that's the problem, though, is it, really? It's movement. I think. Either way. Ski is waiting for assistance. Still over 100, but... People are now being rescued. Now we're now under 100. Okay. I'm going to phase the opening of this. And these... There we go. Now that that's secure. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of lodges as well that I've missed out uh, with the work schedule. So I'm just going to double check. Which I hope is the right call. And obviously that's freeing up a lot of volunteers. Because most of our staff, I would assume, are... Uh, our personnel for the patrol lodges. Don't, I don't think I need the onboard scanner. Turn on. Schedule there. Yeah, schedule. And then max these out as well. There we go. I'm going to check over this area now. And... I think... 
we need a couple more buildings up and around here. So we want probably a... There's a small fast food stand. That's food and energy. Is it just better than the soup bar, then? Food and energy... Yes, it is just better than the soup bar. <laughs> okay. Well, I might as well destroy the soup bar, then. And put this in here. It could, seems to be just better. Might be some variation. But I'm also going to place in some of these high-altitude food kiosks. I think having some of these in up here is the way to go. Uh, where we're at. High-altitude food kiosk. In probably the corner there. Yeah. I'll assign two people to that. I'll do the same to this one. So we're definitely well, we're under fifty now for the skiers waiting for assistance. So that's good. Just have to keep an eye on that. We are on sixty eight percent satisfaction and nearly three stars. Research-wise, we've got lots of stuff we can go for. It's like panoramic restaurant, which is good. Self-service restaurant. Sunroom there. Let's just check. See what people are in need of. Seems to be energy across the board, but that could be to do with their being face down in the snow. Yeah, okay. Security's at like 83, and now having a bit of drama around here. But, I mean, there's a lodge there and there's a lodge there, so not much I can really do about that one. Let's have a quick look over here before it starts to have a massive problem. There often seems to be ones around here, but it seems to be quite close to these, so I don't know. It's going to be up and around there, is it? Oh, wow, look at them. Right, ski patrol lodge. Ski patrol lodge. <laughs> Which is just dotting... Dotting the landscape, isn't it? <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah, completely full. Work schedule. And we're going back up again in terms of the assistance required. But hopefully should help out. I think we need one near the entrance there as well. Any of the near the final bit here. It could be that the, the, this thing is so so long that people are just getting tired. That's a possibility I think. Oh, there we go. There's our fast food joint. Which will max out our workers. And that will hopefully yeah, attendance is good. Tents for the large shelter is also pretty good. As long as it's not maxed out. That's my main concern. There's some more research as well. Oh, chef's workspace. Increase food when service time goes down. Alright. All maintenance buildings increase movement speed. Brilliant, we'll have that. Alright. And then there's that corner there. I mean, I don't really know what I can do about it. Apart from placing... Serious fall, yeah. Apart from placing, like, lodges at every juncture, every corner. Yeah, these are all have suffered a serious fall. Hang on. Yeah, they're all, like, standing up. We're all in need of rescue. Movement in progress. It's the movement thing again, isn't it? Hmm. And work speed. It's not the work speed that's the problem. It's the movement, I think. I'm going to place another shelter over here because it just seems to be... Feels like we're going to need that. Uh, we've got a lot of people waiting for snow grooming. A lot of call for snow grooming. So I'm going to place in a couple more snow groomers. Place one in here. 
because that one needs it. That one, yeah, the slope conditions got low. So with the addition of all of these slopes, I've got a snow groomer up there. Let's assign people to that. Mm, movement speed reduction, no, I really don't want that. It's got work schedule on it. I think, do we need more snow grooming there? No, that one's fine. So I'm just gonna put some more snow groomers in our new area. We have one anyway. But I think adding in one over here would be of some benefit. Yeah. Didn't necessarily want to place one in over here, but it's it's alright. It could be, let's say, a combination of the conditions of the slopes, the tiredness of the people, and things like that. Perceived difficulty is that, because of altered state, because of the slope condition. Yeah, so there's a lot of reasons why people can be going face down, but as soon as that happens, as soon as you have that problem, basically you are um, you're in that sort of <laughs> point where you're just, you just, everything's going to fail. That is like the, really the ultimate, I would say failure state, but it's just so much happens when you have people go down. <laughs> You get a lot of problems with it. I don't know if I want another snow groomer. I don't know if I do. We're closing towards 150 for skiers in need of assistance. What's the condition of these slopes? Uh, not good. So what's... So what's that snow groomer doing? It's well, It seems to be grooming the snow. Let's place some more in. I'll place a snow, snow groomer hanger in this corner then. Although I'm still waiting for some of these to build. There we go. There's that one assigned. There's that one assigned. So there's one, two, three, four extra snow groomers that I've put in. Ooh, dearie me. Look at that one. Because of the altered state. And it's not getting groomed. Even though it's there. It's probably just going to take some time to filter through. He says. <laughs> he hopes. <laughs> Let's um, add in another snow groomer. In. I really wish you could place it there, but it's going to be in this corner, isn't it? It's a shame because all these buildings are like removing trees and stuff. But there we go. How many were in need of grooming? Doesn't say. It's a problem queues and such, but yeah. But now over 200 people who are face down, but that's because of the altered conditions. See that perceived difficulty? Because of altered state. All of these are like that. So I'm just waiting for... Hang on, what? The slope condition is 100%, but the perceived difficulty is still altered. There we go. It looks like it has to get, like, maxed out or something. See, that one there, that slope, that perceived difficulty is very difficult. But it doesn't matter what condition it is, it can't get any worse. I guess it could be, it could, it could get rated as deadly. Like, don't even look at it. <laughs> right, okay. Oh my good grief, look at the state of that. Right, I'm just going to have to place in another ski patrol lodge, aren't I? That's so many people there. Movement in progress. Look at how slow that is. When they're just literally there. I don't know where they're moving to. Mm. Anyway, let's go for things like local groceries. Increase the appeal of service buildings. Uh, we're going to go for like all of these extra bonuses for these service buildings as well. We are, oh, we are trending downwards, I think, for some things now. This really needs to be finished. This slope condition is poor, very poor. It's on. Can I just close? I'm just going to, uh, you can't close it. Why can't I close it? I can probably close that. Although it's. 
maintenance in progress anyway. Okay, I think it's going to sort itself out. This one... Well, we have a more more pressing issue there as well. Ski patrol lodge. I was going to be building some more slopes, but it seems a bit pointless considering what's going on. It's trending downwards. It's just trying to arrest that failure when things go south. <laughs> when things go south on you, it's trying to arrest that um, before, you know, everything goes really horrible. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's add in also another... I, really, I, want, a, I want a red rated slope up here. But I don't know if I can fit it in. Um, from, say, there. Mm, that's red. And then, no, uh, it's going to be not very good. What about from there? Yeah, that's just really difficult. Unless we do that. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. It's just a little slope to go to go down there like that, and it's just a, a red-rated one. I don't like the way it lines up. It's a bit poor. But, like you say, getting these uh, ratings up. I think getting up to four of each would be nice. Ski is waiting for assistance. It is 181 and trending downwards. I'm guessing because obviously these are these are now getting yeah the conditions now okay. Don't know if we need any more mechanics. Yeah, that's red as red. Yeah, that's fine. Get more people over there. None of these are getting. None of these are in a like real problem position. Oh, hang on. There's a lot of people going to that, but they're not seeing that there's too many people going on them, so that's good. Oh, look at that. People are, people are really liking that one. I'm guessing that, obviously, we could have a lot of people going face down here. So, yeah. Just have to keep an eye on that one. Let's get another red-rated slope, then. I think we could probably do it there. So, normal size. And... There's red. That's nice. That's good. That's what I wanted, something like that. And then just connect up to that. And again, it's probably rated as red. Whereas that one is, yeah, not so much. Let's turn off that safety thing. Get a bit of eye candy back. <laughs> 161 skiers waiting for assistance. But overall, it's working. That one really needs more people. How are we doing for research? We are... Oh, should have gone for zip fuel. All maintenance buildings increase movement speed and there's no... There's no downsides to it. It's just a straight up bonus, which is good. We have heat supplies, extra heat, and food supplies, extra heat, which is good. And then you get the panoramic restaurant. Self-serve restaurant, might as well... I'll research that after I get this double glazing. You would have thought double glazing would have been something you'd build sooner rather than later. Oh, speaking of sooner, let's take a look at this, and yep, yep, there's a lot of people that are in need of a good pickup around here, so once again, another lodge. It seems to be the nature of the beast. And assign people to that. Mm. Is it still trending down? How are we doing over in this corner? Much better, and the condition is okay for that slope. Okay. Fine. Um, I don't have a patrol lodge here, actually, for this one, so I'll put that in. Why not? And... There's always been a problem, but I can't actually place a building along that area, so... This area seems quite good, actually. People seem to be quite content on that. No main dramas. It's not actually seeing a lot of traffic now, because a lot of what they come here for, they can get at this new area here. They can also apparently get... Uh, their face into the snow quite readily. So I can't believe I've got two, two of these ski patrol lodges right up the top. Satisfaction is... went down 57% and obviously reputation's gone down with all of the problems that we've had. I'm going to have to check the needs again. 
but I find that as soon as people stop being first down, everything else is fixed. It's rather than instead of the other way around. Double glazing. So, like, things like heat and energy and such, well, that's all well and good, but they lose that by going first down. But why do they go first down? It seems to be the slope condition. Perhaps, perhaps. Uh, energy, we are trending upwards, which is pretty good. Let's double check down here. Let's see both of those. They're all fine. The restaurant is getting a lot of use, actually, which is good to see. What else can we build? Got fast food. And there's sunroom, which is heat and energy. I'm gonna place it. Oh, it fits in very nicely there. So let's place the sunroom in there. That's a nice place. Look at all the people just failing as they come down the bottom there. But we are heading under a hundred. There we go for people waiting assistance. Uh, waiting for assistance. So that's all right. And I would have thought more people would have been using that. What's our attendance figures on it? Capacity is really good. 474 capacity. Attendance is... Alright, let me just assign some people to this sunroom. Might as well max it out. Why not? Don't know if it'll be used like that, but it's in. Um, What do we have here? Slope difficulty. Maybe a blue one. Can I get a blue one? Go for a normal size slope and then blue, blue. Now nah, that's gonna be green. Bit of blue in there. But it's just a different just a different way of going down. Naturally, all these connect up to this big one anyway, so that's why we'll have some problems with it. But satisfaction is heading up. This is good. Reputation is also going positive. Uh, zip fuel is now done. So we have extra speed on maintenance buildings. Double glazing is going in to increase heat across the board. We'll then have... You can have all sorts of things. Well, basically, we're getting close to almost everything researched. Yeah, almost everything is researched, I think. By the look of it. There's only the panoramic restaurant and the ordering terminals to, to get. Obviously, a lot of this stuff I haven't turned on. Oh, that's been rated as blue. That's good. Even though it's predominantly green. But it means we'll get more people over there. I'm guessing we'll see increased people swarming towards that. Yeah, that is actually the case. Right, fine. Um, I will put in a ski patrol lodge. So I know we're going to have some problems. Now we'll turn that on. Once it get, gets built. This is ski patrol lodge number 45. <laughs> Um, Ski is waiting for assistance, 60. So, a far cry from the nearly 260 that we had about 10, 15 minutes ago. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's a fairly easy course, this, isn't it, really, when you look at it? Course, that's not the right term. It's You've got green, green. Um, actually, no. It looks like, oh, you've got loads of green slopes. We've got two, which is the green slope happens to be the longest in uh, our resort. So it's green, green, red, red, uh, blue, black. So, yeah, not bad. I wonder if, actually, can we get, like, say, like, a, from this corner here, can I, like, split it off so you've got, like, a bit of blue there? And then sort of come, like, round the mountain like that? Because like, why not? It's the same rating, though. Is it? So what's the point? Is there any point? Yeah, because it looks good. <laughs> uh, I wanted this to be blue. So down there, down there. Um, across and round, and blue, and then blue. Like that. Actually, I may just set that up like that. There we go. Probably need another snow groomer with all this, because, you know, with all of these extra, I don't know if it calculates, like, the length of the slopes or anything like that, but I'll place a snow groomer in... I'm just going to place it back here. <laughs> Look at all the snow groomers. Um, I'm just over, you know, I'm a, nothing exceeds, like, excess. Um... 
inside those. There we are. Okay, we have less than 50 people in need of assistance. Satisfaction is okay. The walking liabilities is the main problem, child, but I don't know what I can do about that. It's exploration they're in need of. Yeah. Don't know what I can do about that, really. And research-wise, we are almost maxed out. Self-service restaurant we are getting. We are going to go for uh, then the ordering terminals, which is heat suppliers, minus one, max volunteers, which basically means you get the same so I'll bang for your book there. And reputation is over three. So that's okay. That's not too bad. Overall then, I think we've arrested the failure state. The worst thing is that we've still only got a thousand people. So all of this, all this has done is move people away from here. <laughs> that's all it's done. That's all it's done. So you can see like these large shelters, there's almost like, you know, there's seven people in there. There's seven in there. There's 11 in that one. So like, yeah, all of the, and the attendance is low on this one. So all we've done is shift them over to another area, which should change some stats, as in people will be, um, I'm going to assign loads of people that, but what's the point? This <laughs> hardly touching it. Same as that, oh, that sunroom people are using. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so having this area is obviously good because it means you can have, you know, things like exploration and such, I would assume, would go up. Um, but, yeah. A lot of the things, we've just moved the goalpost. <laughs> Almost. I'm just placing in, naturally, a couple more ski patrol lodges in and around here. Let's just turn back on safety because that's starting to be affected. Turn that one on. And then we'll turn that one on. Coming over here. In this corner once again, we've got some problems. But the heat map doesn't really upgrade as... Uh, it doesn't refresh as fast as you would expect. Okay. This one's done as well. There's four people there. But it's it's trending downwards again, which is fine. Which is fine. Okay, I think we are going to... Oops. I think we are going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Snowtopia. We've managed to get... Um, on this area, anyway, basically two... Two fully separate and... Autonomous... Areas. Two lodges. And obviously loads of gondolas and ski lifts and stuff. Which is actually moving over there has freed off some of the problems that we had over here because there was a lot of people um, like these were problem queues so over a thousand people 145 volunteers uh, 18 slopes in total that's five easy five average four difficult and four very difficult which seems to be a decent a decent rating I would I think um, let's check our maintenance buildings I don't think we need to assign oh we're gonna assign more people to that lodge there where is that lodge let's have a quick look it is in there is it might as well do that then cool yeah, so overall quite happy with our progress, and then obviously we went over to this side as well, and then we've got two lifts in here, and lots of slopes. Uh, we could then obviously expand up to this side as well and have some more extreme ones, but I think we will leave it there for now for this episode, and possibly the series, because if we go up there, it's going to be a similar sort of deal with adding in sort of red and... It's going to be the, the red and black slope, so uh, the, the difficult and very difficult. Um, I'm either going to leave it there, put that in, or start on a new one. I'm favouring just leaving it there for now because of, uh, well, some of, like I say, these, these issues with all of these. This probably is my, my fault. I've probably just misunderstood something. But it seems to be placing cabins placing simulator. <laughs> and when it goes south, it goes south real fast. But, um, yeah, I think it'll be a nice play thing to leave it there, to leave it on a high note with good satisfaction across the board and a three-star out of five rating, which if that was a food place, you probably wouldn't order from there. But in this particular case, it's uh, not too bad. So, yeah, overall, quite enjoyed that. We have pre oh, we've got all the research, I think, in the game as well, so we have loads of options. But if we started on a new area, we'd have to research all that again, which I'm not terribly... Uh, over enthusiastic for but we'll leave it there for now that's been a bit of snowtopia and um, let us know in the comments uh, you know if you would like to see more of this sort of thing and as always we'll go from there thanks very much for watching take care 
and generic partings. <laughs>